and Son Fornicetti straight match. Very tough fiber product. And so there won't be much waste because it's a straight match. What's here is the same here is the same here. Let's get started. We're going to paste the product. Okay, our wallpaper to straighten it out went up onto our yellow wall, an eighth of an inch, but we have a straight piece of wallpaper, so we need to just shave that off with a sharp blade. Too aggressively to cut off the end. All right. I use my Big Lots laundry bag for scraps. Great tool. And now we're almost there. Knock off my blade again to give me a very sharp blade. I need it for this. The 
take off my excess yellow and be done with it. Let me tell you something about coal and sun. Superior quality material. Superior. But, 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 you see these edges? Be prepared to battle separation with the next piece and hairline fractures. It's great material, great material. However, with these dark colors on Colin Sun, here's how I want, uh, here's how I suggest you to treat this. Take breaks, take breaks in between this sheet and the next. Okay, you want the honest truth? Take breaks. You want this material to get comfortable where it's gonna live for the next few years because overnight, you know what Cole and Son likes to do? It likes to shrink. Now, that's not a defect. No. Paper hangers have to know their material. I mean, if you really want to be good. You got to know your stuff. Your material. Oh yeah, Coleman Sun. Oh no, oh that's a Schumacher. Or whatever. You have to be familiar with the product. In order... You see this? That's not gonna... That's not gonna... It's not gonna pass with Cole and Sun. Cole and, Stun, Cole and Sun edges need to be nailed down very well before you go to your next piece. Because... It doesn't tolerate having lots of moisture and glue underneath it. Now, don't overdo it. Because if you overdo this seam, Colin Sun likes to give up the color. Go take a look at one of my videos. Just put in Spencer Colgan, Cole and Son, and you'll see a green wallpaper with palm leaves, palm trees behind me. And you will see a Cole and Son, just like this one, whose edges gave me a really tough time. And the edges do not like to be overworked. Once you stress them, they give up the color. Nice and easy. And you can do it. Colin Sun is an excellent product. But even the high-end products like Colin Sun, like, like this one, has something which paper hangers are careful about. <clears throat> and this goes for any wallpaper with this pigment. We're dealing with two dark colors, red and black. It behooves you to go to your local box store. I'm talking about like Walmart or Michaels, if you're living in the continental USA. Get yourself watercolor crayons. They look like wax. When you put water on them, they dissipate color. Inevitably, you'll find yourself needing color. If you're the do-it-yourself, don't settle for a fracture in your wallpaper, if you can help it. Now, does wallpaper shrink? I have a video on that. Does it shrink? Well, wallpaper is really doing when it reveals a fracture between seams after installation that wasn't there when you left the job. What it's really doing is 
drying, it's evaporating the, the water that has become part of the backing of the paper. So it becomes engorged on the back. And you'll see if you measure wallpaper's width after you put uh, glue on the wall or on the, on the product, and then you put it on the wall, you say, hey, what happened here? 3 sixteenths inch thicker. Well, it's swollen. And uh, that, that water evaporates, usually constricting about an eighth of an inch, no more than that. Now, if you're not careful and watch those seams, it will manifest itself in a hairline fracture. One of the ways to reduce that is to prevent the wall covering from sliding on the bed of glue on which it's hanging to the wall. So if you find yourself a hanger, right, a do-it-yourselfer is just going to say, well, I don't know what happened, this is good enough, probably, unless they want to be perfect. But for the hanger, if you want to prevent eight inches of wallpaper from sliding back that one-eighth of an inch, Get yourself some clay-based glue and put it on the edge of your wall covering, underneath it, underneath, on the wall. Put it on the wall because it can make a texture on the paper if you let it there too long. Put it on the wall. And then as you hang your paper, go thin on the clear glue on your wall covering so that when it makes contact with the clay-based glue, it has nothing to do but to stay put. It can't slide. Clay-based glue is like a suction vacuum. Can't move. Now, it dries up, it tacks up quickly. So you have to know your dry time, your setup time the toleration of, of your clay-based glue, you can add clear to it. Once you come down with the perfect proportion, it works like a charm. I'm not using it here because I'm ready to babysit these seams. But if I were concerned about my wall, it's a small wall. I'm only doing a small wall here. If I were concerned about this, I'm going with clay-based because I can't sit on these seams forever. I'm going to lock them down after I install it. And I'm gonna use clay-based adhesive. And I'm gonna add a little clear to it. 20% clear, 80% clay. Put it on here and it'll act like a vacuum. learn too late that our fingernails are too long and can scratch your wallpaper. So I give a tip to the gentleman who hang paper. Not only should you clip your nails, but you should file them down to make them smooth. If you're going to work with a product that's easily scratched. That's what you want to do. So you don't scratch your paper.
Now, here's how you're going to work a cold and sun seam. Very carefully. One hand is moving it back and forth. I'm working eye level. This is perfectly smooth. And if this is my wall, this is the angle at which I'm using this tool. If you do this at a 90 or a 45 or less, you'll damage your paper. Easy, strong strokes. Let's do it again. Push my paper up. Colon Sun is very similar to dollar bills in the US and Canada. Very similar. Take a dollar bill and wet it. Go wet it. Pause the video. Take a dollar bill and soak it with water. And then Put it on the wall and smooth it out. It's not going to rip. That's what you're dealing with with colon sun. Same exact strong fibers. Same exact, same exact thing. All right, I'm going to get this nice and in place for you. So sometimes one of these plastic smoothers is the best thing to use on this colon sun. So I just want to make sure I get off any burrs. What do I use? Believe it or not. From the dollar store. Adobe pad. Just to smooth out my plastic. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay. Is that acceptable? Not to me. Not to me. It's not what you do here, it's what you do over here to get this completely correct. Guess what? Go on the other side if it's too hard to move one side. Push one side up, push the other side down. Use your hand, you know why? Your hand is flesh. You use plastic in this process, goodbye to the color. Now look at it. Do you like that now?
Now let's see how perfect we can make these seams, okay? Is that our best? Let's see. Push it together more. That's our best. We're starting to push the seam up. So that's the best you're gonna get. Let's just wipe it. And so you heard it here on my channel that this is the best seam you're gonna expect from Coleman Sun, okay? Do you like it? I can tell you, honestly, I love it. I'm not going to lie to you. That's not what I do here. My job on my video channel is to prevent you from suffering the loss of time and the need for consultation with others. I'm going to reveal all the things I learned from all my mistakes. That's your best seam right there. For this seam, I have chosen a different technique. My technique for this seam is now working over here. And so I've chosen to overlap them slightly. See that? That's my technique. I'm getting tired pushing this thing. So I'm over pushing it and you know what's gonna happen? It's going to separate and be almost near exactly perfect. And so I'm just gonna wait for it. I'm gonna wait for it to settle back. Now, here's a warning for the do-it-yourselfer. Oh, I watched Spencer's video, I watched a few others. I know what to do. Get the smoother out, honey, come on. And you do this three, four, 10, 15 times, and guess what happens? Look close, you've taken the black off or the gold. Don't use this when you're trying to move a stubborn seam. This is what you wanna use, right here. It's not gonna take your color away, okay? Overlap those seams. Now you can cheat like I do and pull the seam open and put some water. But you know what's going to happen? You're going to be deceived by the success that you have. You're going to say, look, it came back. It's going to slide right back on water. Don't do that. Overlap them by 16. And come back. Okay? Look at all my glue here. You don't need water here. So why are you doing it, Spencer? Because I don't have all day. <clears throat> but please, if you're learning from me, if you learn anything, and I learned from a lot of you with your comments. Don't overdo it with the water. Okay? You'll wind up getting it into place. And then the next day, you'll be like, honey, what happened to the seam? I, I followed Spencer's video. I don't understand this. What happened was you put so much water and it slid back. Because water makes it slippery, okay? I'm just cheating on the technique, that's all. But at least I have it in mind that it's gonna slide, okay? Now, wet down your shell, wet it down. Reduce the friction on the pattern so you don't discolor it or, or, or rip it or whatever. Now. Let's go this way. All right. Nice. Oh. Okay, baby, come on now. Get in there. Diagonal. Mm. Tricky, tricky.
I don't know. Some of the people who watch my videos, they think I have a big ego. They don't know my personality, like many of you who watch most of them. You gotta see some of the comments I get. Boy, this guy's ego is huge. Because sometimes I'll say in a video, can you guys just write in perfect for me? And of course I'll be joking. But when people hear that, they think, you know, you're crazy. I don't care. Separation. Remember, I overlapped this five minutes ago, not even. Okay? This is serious. You see why I don't want you to use this? Learn from my mistakes, folks. Please. <clears throat> Learn. Now, colon sun is so good that you're not going to tear that with your fingers like you will other junk on the market. Wow. I don't want to ask you to write it in the comments section. Because I don't want you to think I have a big ego, but without saying it, can some of you just write it in there? If you don't mind. I won't say the word. Oh, gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Don't you love that? Now some of you are content with this 64th of an inch mis misalignment because you say, oh, well, Spencer, it matches down here. Come on. We don't have to be perfect. It matches here. Why do you have to be such a stickler? I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. First, water. It's going to prevent you from scratching that surface. Now, I want you to push up on there with a smoother and throw the misalignment into this field of non-matching pattern. You see how that works? Don't bring it up here. Bring it to this. Let's get a ripple going. See the ripple developing? right there in the middle of your screen. That's all you need. Come on, push it toward diagonal. Watch this. Push it right out there now. Come on, out there. What do we got? Works all the time. Works all the time. Don't overdo it. But it works all the time. See that? If you give me a W O W, I know you agree. Let's do the one on top. We're perfectly aligned here. But what happens when we get here? <gasps> We're slightly off. Look. Oh, Spencer, come on. Don't be so crazy. You want to be perfect? I'm going to show you how to do it. See that ripple? Use it to your advantage. Look at that perfect match. Misalignment gone. 
Colin Sun by Spencer Colgan. Don't overdo your seam, use water, and have lots of patience. Common mistake in wallpaper hanging. You get to your last sheet or to the corner of your wall where you're going to continue it over here and you, and you cut it. First thing you do is you cut it. You want that off the wall, right? You cut it all the way, but then look at what you have here. In some cases up at the top, you got three sixteenths of an inch of gap. May I suggest to you that you do not cut any consequential part of any sheet any time until you have the most critical junctures in place. This is a critical juncture. Okay, I started piecing it together from the bottom, and you'll see that right about there, it begins its separation, which was how it looked after I installed the sheet. Not only that, it has pressure on it. I keep putting it together and it's pulling this way. So please do not cut your top, do not cut your bottom, until the most critical juncture is in place. And then after that, you have to know which piece you would cut second and third. And so this would be my second cut. Here and here, I consider that the same. Top and bottom is my second cut. My last cut is this one. After, and the whole rule is this. After you cut it, can you make up if you cut it too short? That's the consideration you have to make. Your wallpaper can only go over here with this issue. You, so we need 3 sixteenths of an inch and we need to keep it here. Therefore, you don't want to cut that. Okay, that's all. How are we looking?
This seam is wet. It's my last seam that I just installed.